this process is called chasing the wax. Now, I don't know where they where that term came from, but chasing waxes means that you're finding the imperfections and correcting them. Once a sculpture is done, uh, and uh, that's usually in an oil-based clay, then a mold is made and then from the mold we get a wax. And the wax is a positive image of the sculpture that I did. Uh, but waxes are poured hot so that there may be air bubbles and other imperfections where the wax mold came together might have a, a line or so my job now is I must look at this very carefully and fix any corrections. Uh, there might be lines where the two pieces of the mold came together and uh, as the, such as this line going down the arm and right here at this edge here and that's where the, the two pieces didn't fit tightly enough together. Other flaws that are fairly common but not so often are air bubbles where the, there's a little tiny hole or a little tiny corner of something didn't get completed in the wax. Sometimes we'll find it on the ear. On her, we might find it on the, the, the dreadlocks. Um, and you look for those holes. And they are filled with a, 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 a red wax that is a soft wax. So where you see little bits of red is where I've actually used the red wax. I would put it on where that and then make sure it's smoothed out. Now sometimes it's more than, the wax is really good for filling holes, but occasionally like there's a very tiny hole right here and if I put the wax in there it doesn't change the harder wax, it just fills the hole. The, the more corrections we make in the wax, the fewer things there might have to be, that would have to be done with a torch and welding rods on the bronze. So we want the wax as perfect if possible. Uh, what I do is use heat and this tool, uh, or a similar tool, and therefore and now I'm lighting this alcohol lamp. There's a wick there in alcohol, and it, it's a very pale flame. If, it, if you're doing it right, you hardly see anything. And that heats it so that it melts the wax. What I'm doing now is using heat. The heat, because well, this is wax, so th this tool, when this tool is hot, it, can, it will melt it. And you need to use a, a light hand. I would sign this piece by scratching it in with um, a stylus or if I soften up the wax a little bit which I can do by using a heat gun on it I keep the heat far enough away so it doesn't actually melt the wax it's just softening it up a little bit so that I can actually write in it instead of scratching little lines and because I have a long name, <laughs> I use only my first name to sign artwork.